I'm getting our first yeah. views. We are getting our first views from the NASA WB-57. We see, we see their Starliner continuing its plunge through the atmosphere. We are eight minutes and eight seconds from landing. That image is infrared because of it being uh, dark, of course, over the skies of, uh, of New Mexico right now. Still about 28 miles above the Earth as it continues making its way, uh, just about crossing over the New Mexico border now. This video again coming from uh, one of NASA's WB-57 planes using infrared camera. All systems are reported doing well. Spacecraft is doing well. Altitude 41,000 meters. Seven and a half minutes till landing and just a couple minutes now until we should hear about the uh, forward heat shield jettison. Great view here. Can't see much since it's dark, but uh, it's good to know that Starliner is on its way home. And, and uh, this is actually a little, little better than I was hoping, considering that it's in the middle of the night in New Mexico. Very good to see this. Very good to see this. Everything is looking. Uh, that, that image is exactly what we expect. The thermal protection system on Starliner, of course, protecting the spacecraft from the heat of, uh, of entry. Slowing speed down now Mach 3.5. Of course orbital velocity is Mach 25 so that gives you an idea of uh, the velocity change. Now 17 miles above New Mexico. Six minutes to landing at White Sands, New Mexico. The Starliner remains in its proper attitude, proper course. Speed Mach 1.1, 19,000 meters. Landing recovery team has visual on Starliner as it comes down. Ten thousand feet. It's about six point two miles still above New Mexico, but uh, we did just forward heat shield deploy. Confirmation of that forward heat shield deploy. Everything. Drugs out. Things will happen fast now. The drugs will start stabilizing the Starliner and slowing it down before the main heat shields deploy after it. Main parachutes, rather, not heat shield. Vehicle is slowing rapidly. Mach point two. And landing site reports the sonic booms as Starliner came over. And we can see on that image the, uh, the two pilot shoots, the two drogue shoots. Three minutes, 30 seconds from landing. Mains deployed. The rest of 
and we see three main shoots three main shoots billowing up we have three main shoots we see the red white and blue as starliner descends two minutes 53 seconds from touchdown and the rotation handle has deployed that will level starliner as it descends Base heat shield has jettisoned. That is the base heat shield falling away as planned. Airbags are inflating. And that is the last of the milestones. So now all that's left is for Starliner to float down to the surface of the desert in New Mexico. Everything continuing to look good uh, on this uh, camera that we're getting from the WB57 uh, cameras, infrared cameras, um, giving us a, a, as good a view as we could expect at nighttime. Two minutes, 12 seconds to landing. Starliner descending under three good main chutes. All six airbags are confirmed to have deployed and they are fully inflated as Starliner descends to the desert down in White Sands. Just about 800 meters left to go. It's less than half a mile. Great, great imagery there of it, uh, of it descending. Less than one minute to landing, less than one minute to touchdown at White Sands, New Mexico. Starliner floating smoothly and softly under three main parachutes. Just 300 meters left to go. That's uh, 984 feet. Very close now. 20 seconds. 20 seconds to landing the first Starliner flight test vehicle. And Starliner touches down in the desert in New Mexico. An historic landing in White Sands, New Mexico, concludes the first flight test of Boeing Starliner spacecraft, the first time an American-made, human-rated capsule has landed on land. That took place right at uh, 6.58 a.m. Central Time, two days, one hours, and 21 minutes into Starliner's mission. Congratulations, Starliner. Congratulations, indeed. Flawless flight back to Earth. Good landing this morning. Now the uh, spotlight's going to shift a little bit to the landing recovery team waiting for it out there in New Mexico. They have to wait for clearance before they start heading over to the vehicle. But Starliner has touched down at White Sands successfully this morning. Main chutes are jettisoned. That'll keep those chutes from pulling uh, Starliner away as the uh, landing recovery team is looking to make their way toward it.